from the oldest park in baseball. ML Number 25 will be the starter for the Bo Sox in this contest. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, this guy is one of the better pitchers in the league, and one stat that jumps out, Leading take a look at that strikeout to walk ratio. Oh, that's right. about as good as it gets. Yeah. And look for him to dominate in this one. Well, these Red Sox entering play here this afternoon. Four and two over their last six games, including a win last time out. Hey, Matty V, you know, there's such a good thing as splitting a series, dear old. This is the one. They lose the first two games of this series, win game three. They'd like nothing more than to split this series and win game four. Yeah, Bobby Cox always used to say, you got to take care and beat the teams you're supposed to beat and then play 500 against the really good teams. They have a chance to do that exactly today. Drop the first two, but if they can win today, they split this series and move on. That and that sends D.J. LeMahieu into the box. DJ. 13 at-bats in the series so far with four hits. Munoz is over to his right as he puts this one away. Two down. Stepping in next, Aaron Judge. He's seen that average climb during his seven-game hitting streak. Smoked on the ground left side. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two-out hit. Hey, there's a nice knock by the three-hole hitter. I know there's two outs, but they always say with your man coming up, the number four-hole monster, as soon as he steps in the batter's box, there's a runner in scoring position. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Fouled off. The next 0-2. is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Yanks leave one. Yankees nothing Red Sox coming to bat you're dialed in to the show. And now in the box Luke Voigt he did not play last night but clearly back in the starting nine for this one. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. Fouled away. On its way, the 0 1 pitch. And here's a curveball looked at. Strike three called. And that's the first out of the inning. Digging in next, Adam Duvall. And he's hoping to get things going at the plate. It's been a bit of a struggle for him in recent games. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. Hey, what away? Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Here's a late okay. swing and a miss. Strike two. No time to look at our umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Dave Lawrence. Damn, we got Dave Lawrence behind the dish tonight. One of the best in the business, in my opinion, but sometimes has a tendency to fall into a pattern where he's given a little bit too much on that outside corner. Yeah, d -Road, one of the things he'll do, he'll open up that outside corner. And we'll just leave it there as they make the play to end the inning. So the Yanks go one, two, three. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. First pitch on its way. Rounded back up the middle. Right to him. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. Next up is Aaron Hicks and he's a guy looking to break out in a big way hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. He's set and the pitch and here's a fastball called for strike one. The offense better get it going right here because they certainly can tell from their dugout this guy is carrying himself with a presence out on the mound. He's got feel for all his pitches. Here comes the one two to him. A swing and a miss here as he's down on strikes. So it's two up two down to begin the third. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Tim LoCastro will stand in for the second time now as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. Off the plate one ball one strike. Yankee shortstop behind in the count one and two. Here comes the one two. And he fouls this one off. Third inning no score to this point. Still one and two. And it's fouled away. 
And a fastball swung on and missed, and the side is retired. Ball set for the start of the inning, and that'll give way to the veteran second baseman, DJ LeMayhew. I know we're not seeing a lot of offense in this one, but there's still some game left. I'm looking to see these guys, both offenses, make some notable adjustments at the dish and try and scratch a few runs across. Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0-2. Still all zeros in the run column here in the fourth inning. Dan, does this continue, or does somebody score here? Oh, you have to love You know, Matt, we have so many of these games that are 12 to 10 and 9 to 8. It's nice to see a low-scoring pitcher's duel for us. Now a drive by Judge. Deep left field. Verdugo is back to the track as he takes it for route number two. And digging into the batter's box next will be Jim Carlos Stanton. He's 0 for 1 thus far. No balls in one strike. And that's in there as well. 0 and 2 now. Hey, make no mistake about it. This lineup. But we'll have to press pause as that strike three to retire the side. 1, 2, 3 go the Bombers. On to the bottom of the floor. New inning set to get underway. And next to bat will be the first baseman, Luke Voigt. Verdugo waits on it. He's got it one away. Next to hit, Adam Duvall looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Here comes the 0 1. Lifted down the line and left. But this will wind up being a foul ball. Trying to send him packing for the second time. Yeah, we got one here. And he struck him out. I'll tell you right now, this guy has a shutout going, and it's been all business. He's not messing around trying to pick at corners. He's being aggressive in the zone, and he's attacking each and every one of these hitters up to this point. Now back third base. Geo. Hey, two outs, plays it one. That'll bring in Giovanni Urshela as he takes a cold strike at the knees. It's 0 and 1. 0 for 1 after a pop out in foul territory his first time through. Hey, we got two. Rounded up the first baseline. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. So put another zero on the board as they've been held scoreless through five. Last half of the fifth coming up, and we still have no score. Now it'll be Gary Sanchez. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0 and 1. Hey, this guy's done a better job than expected. He's made some bad pitches in the strike zone, but so far he hasn't gotten hurt by it. And he struck him out, and that's eight strikeouts thus far. Well, he certainly wasn't intimidated on the mound right there. He had to stare down a really good hitter, and instead of working around the zone, he challenged him with three straight good pitches. I like that he didn't give his opponent too much credit. Now that Standing in now, Aaron Hicks. Aaron. Now a Hicks. ball popped up behind the plate for Ramos. And he'll put this one away in foul territory for the second out. First pitch of the A.B. on its way as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. Hey it's a game of execution. If the pitcher stays right there this lineup's going to continue to have a tough time. Fouled off. another one as he picks up strikeout number nine here and the side is retired so the Yanks go one two three still no score 
the second baseman DJ LeMay here. He'll start the seventh and Dan is a former pitcher yourself. You must be enjoying this. Lots of good pitching and defense today. Well that's one of the keys. We're seeing a lot of strikes. We're seeing a lot of swings. We're seeing some great plays on defense. This has been a snappy one up to this point. And he'll stay with it here as he puts the squeeze on it for route number one. Next to stand in is Aaron Judge. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. Owen won the count. Fouled away. No runs, just one hit and two errors for the Yankees to this point. Scooped up. On to first and there were two down. Giancarlo Stanton now. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, and he didn't put up much of a fight either, Matty. Got to find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way. Uh, we'll have to leave it there as the play is made for the third. Ready to begin the eighth. And next will be the imposing power back. Look, Voigt. In there for strike one. That elevated fastball right there. That is the biggest change in the game today for me. When I first came up, a lot of guys working at Greg Maddox east to west. Skied into straightaway right. Munoz is there to put it away for route number one. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Adam Duvall comes on with one gone here as he looks at a cold strike one. And he gets him to swim through that one. He's in control 0-2. And, and he fouls this one off. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Hit down the line at first. But that finds its way through for a base hit. He takes the turn and heads for second. Cut, cut, cut. And he is in the second base with one away as the go-ahead run. Now the Red Sox skipper's up out of the dugout and on his way toward the mound. And he's going to make a move as that's going to be all for his starter this afternoon. He departs in a tie ball game. But here's the final line score for this afternoon's ball game for the victorious Boston Red Sox. Two runs, seven hits, no errors. They left 14 men on base.